The Federal Bank has kept the benchmark interest rates unchanged at 5.25 to 5.5 percent for the third straight meeting. A dot lot of Fed's policymakers also signaled the end of policy tightening and forecast three interest rate cuts worth a total of 75 bips in 2024. Now, when the central bank reduces its interest rate, it means they want consumer spending to increase. Theoretically, it means bank rates are no longer encouraging enough for people to save their money, which is what will boost consumption. When consumption rises, the overall market is bound to do well, which means investor preference will now shift towards equities and away from fixed income securities like gold and bonds, leading to a cool off in their prices. Now, let's see how this will impact Indian markets. Wall Street performing well will also also have positive global spillovers and equity markets globally including the Indian market would do well. Now India too is expected to reverse rate hikes soon. This same cycle of preference shifting from debt to equity will now take place in India too. Now in a case like this, rate sensitive sectors that took a beating when the Fed went on a rate hike rampage will do well. Now these include a whole host of sectors like banks, NBFCs, real estate, autos, consumer durables, new age tech companies and IT. Now remember the Nasdaq doing well will also rub off on Indian IT companies as well. And another important consequence would be a reduction in cost of borrowing as interest rates will go down. Now this would aid the valuations of the companies going ahead and paint an overall rosy picture for the Indian equity markets.